Thank you for joining me for this oil painting time lapse where I paint a super close up of a realistic eye. If you're no stranger to my channel, you've likely seen many eye paintings from me. They're one of my favorite subjects to paint and draw, and I'm not the only one because there's literally hundreds of thousands of artists, probably millions, who are also fascinated by them. I really enjoy observing and photographing the world up close in macro. I think it gives such an interesting angle that you don't really see with the naked eye alone. I've done a couple droplet paintings super up close and I thought it would be interesting to try and paint an eye in this way as well. Because of you know what and quarantine, I couldn't exactly shove a camera lens into anyone's eyeball, so I decided to shove a camera lens into my own eyeball or up to my own eyeball and use that as my reference. I started with creating an underpainting of all the shapes and some of the basic values using a diluted layer of burnt umber and titanium white. I let this dry for several days and then came back to work on the second layer, which is the first color layer also known as color blocking. When it came to painting the iris, I used mostly some burnt umber, ultramarine blue, burnt sienna, yellow ochre, cadmium red light, phthalo green, and titanium white, using all of those colors mixed in different ratios to replicate the colors that appear in the iris. I'm not focusing on painting any precise details with the first color layer, I'm just trying to lay out the major colors where I see them in my reference. I'm using more browns for the color around the pupil and more earthy yellows and olive greens for the outer section and the limbal ring. The sclera, or whites of the eyes, is actually never truly white, otherwise we would all look like scary robots. Typically, the whites in the eyes can be painted with more of a tinted gray, with some very faint blues, purples, pinks, even some yellows. It all just depends on the kind of lighting your subject is in, their individual eyes. It's going to be a little bit different every time, and there's no exact formula to get the right color. You just have to figure that out with every new painting, every new portrait, but it does become easier to figure out all those colors the more you practice. After I finished color blocking, I let the painting dry and then went for layer 3, which is where I focus on details, building on what I've already done, glazing, and correcting any mistakes. This is usually my favorite part of any painting because for me personally, I feel like I have so much more direction having already done the more difficult part of starting the piece, and now is when I can really bring everything to life more. I spent about two and a half hours painting the details on the iris and the reflection before getting tired of staring at it and then I left it to dry once again. A lot of the process is just gradually adjusting and reshaping things until I'm okay with how they look. At this point is where I was wondering why I chose to do this in the first place because veins in general just kind of make me feel queasy sometimes, especially eye veins, and so I'm sitting there wondering why I chose to do this to myself, but it's fine, I got through it. A 
Although this is an extremely sped up view on my process, I also have a real time version along with my palette explaining which colors I'm mixing and all my brush strokes along the way. And there's currently four hours of that available on my Patreon page for only $5. I included the reference image I used and you get access to all my other real time demonstrations as well. I improvised and made up the eyelashes as I went along because in my reference they were actually blurry and out of focus. Thank you so much for watching. I'm wishing you a beautiful and inspiring day and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Thank you.